Tim Sears Jr. with us right now. Championships this year at Brewer and Ann Fulton. Won a whole bunch of races. He's here in the Troyer booth checking out the folks that build the car that he drives. How we been? Good. How are you, Doc? Good, good, good. Nothing at the auction for you. I saw Tommy had something in there. Yeah, he's getting a new car, so he's got he's getting rid of his old one. Okay. How are you doing? I mean, obviously, the big thing, I mean, Fulton is Fulton, but, boy, a Brewer and Championship, that's yeah. a first, right? Yeah, I mean, that place has really been a thorn in the last couple of years. We've been so good all year there, and just a couple of races really screwed up, so we, we finally put together a whole year. Nice. Got to thank Rudy Plumbing. They helped us out a little while ago. Remember, if you guys need something, emergency, 2 in the morning, new water heater, you got clogged sewers and drains or faucet, make sure to give them a call. They're right local. So what was the difference this year? Because you've been close, like we said before, at Brewerton. What made the difference this year? Uh, we were just a little more consistent than we ever have been over there. We were really good every week, so we were able to get to the front every week. I did have, we had one D on op, so that kind of hurt us. Over there, we've been getting quite a few cars, so when you have a DNF, it really hurts a lot. Yeah. So we've uh, we just put together a really good year, a lot of consistent top fives. Okay, how about Fulton? Was it you and Ronnie again? Yeah, me, Ronnie. Uh, I think Larry was in there, and David was there too. So it was a it was we had a really good year over there too. We our worst finish was third over there all year. So wow. We had a really good and consistent year over there. We didn't win as many races as we have been in the past couple of years. So. It was but definitely uh, definitely one of the most consistent years I've put together. How about the series? The series is it's tough, man. I mean, we go to so many different tracks, and it's hard to unload everywhere and be good. We unloaded with a lot more speed, more times when we went there than not, than we usually do. But we just, we have probably three, four tracks that we really struggle at. We need to, we need to clean them up, and hopefully we'll be a little bit closer to the top three. Okay, how's your shop look right now? Full. Full. We're trying to get rid of a couple cars. I got oh. a small block car that we ran all year. We're trying to sell that. That's for sale and complete. And we got a big block complete, car. Complete, complete? Yep. Minus engine. Gotcha. Engine, engine seat and shocks. Okay, so it's got transmission tires. in it too then. Yep, yep. Okay. The only thing you need to do, if you wanted to go crate racing, just put, in, put your shocks, the seat in it, and an engine and go. No, oh, nice. Okay, so if you want to get a hold of Tim, Get a hold of me, uh, Doug at Doug's Diary, or mention me on Facebook, and or put it in the comments, and I'll get you in touch. What's the other car? Uh, it's identical. Oh, okay. Same exact car, just a, he ran it in it with a big block in it. It's a Bruden, we, car we ran at Bruden. Oh, well, championship car. Yeah. So there you go, guys. You, not many places you can buy a championship car, pretty much just the way that it rolled off the track. Yeah. So I take it we're updating with some new TD5s for next year? Yeah, that's the plan. If not, we'll... If not, we'll race them again. Okay, all right. Don't make, don't make a difference. So. Yeah, because if you don't get the price you want. Right, I mean, this stuff this stuff just costs so much, it's hard to give stuff away. So it's true. We, we can't we we can't lose we can't lose money on them, so we gotta we gotta make sure we at least make something off. Okay. You saw your wife and the kids, looks like everybody's good. Yeah, yeah, wife and kids are running around here so mm -hmm. everyone's good. Banquet tonight? Yep. All right. We'll be there. I'll see you there, man. I won't recognize you because you'll be all dressed up and everything. But, I'll uh... probably look pretty similar. Just for <laughs> the fancier black shirt. There you go. Good to see you, man. Congratulations on the championships. Thanks, sir.